game face two Marge Simpson face one shoe nice okay hello everyone this is a race between myself and Lobster for round three uh, we have a bingo today uh, you've already seen the board and oh fuck what the hell what just what just fucking happened oh no uh, Andrew no get no no, oh my God, no, no restarts no I restarts do? now come what on what did I do oh no oh god this is terrible oh no absolutely no restarts <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to use your uh, host privilege oh come on what the it. fuck is going on here <laughs> my oh my god what is going on all right i'm gonna come back to that shit uh what do i have to do oh I, yeah i guess i'll do that first okay all right well anyway this is around we're doing a bingo and i've already uh dropped the ball um where the fuck is the uh the board I, I could have swore I fucking saw it in the chat. It's, and it's in round see. three part primary. Oh, okay, I see. So uh, this is uh, Andrew competing in the board that he wrote. That's right. That's and right. There's no issues with that whatsoever. I, hey, I did not study this board. I just literally just created it then. So you know, it's not like I'm, I like I've been studying it for two weeks or something like that. Uh, uh, I'm calling. What the fuck am I doing? I didn't even need to rescue that that dragon. I mean, this is this is what this is the Toy Story Two curse. It's put it's it's put me out. I was gonna say like, uh, you're you're very angry today, Andrew. Well, and now it's open. Effing and blinding about Toy Story Two, oh. and now all over the shop. With, <laughs> what is this? Uh, t uh, Spyro Three. <laughs> See, I, I knew it was Spyro. Oh yeah. no, it's not actually Spyro One. Okay, it actually says. Okay, I just saw collect all the eggs and I was like, I remember that from last bingo. That's Spyro Free. Spyro Free has eggs. Um, Spyro yeah, One. I thought we were, we were going to do Spyro Three, but oh well. I'm hey, hey, hang on, hang on. I, I, I swear it was you who suggested Spyro One. Like I was going to go with Spyro Three, and then and then you were like, Oh, yeah, you said Three, and you asked which which I which one I preferred. I said Three or One. It all comes out. Andrew's right. game I, I, in the tournament. I, I, whatever, we're doing He's one. He's using oh, his host privilege. Because we're, we're, we're both good at three, so that's why like, I initially thought three because it'd be like a standoff of the games we're good at or whatever. Also, I mean, I'm, I'm also kind of a little bit... Um, actually, when it comes to those later levels, I'm not, not really so... Like, it's not really... Um, uh, what, what, what do you call it? Muscle memory? It's not really muscle memory. It's only the, like the earlier levels for sure. Muscle memory, although like I'm probably all right at three, I guess. Um, I don't know. Well, anyway, here's what here we are. We're doing a bingo in one, uh, yep. all levels cheat. Um, I'll, this will try, try to be my last all levels cheat race, except for, except for in maybe in the grand final or if someone next round really wants to do Spyro one. But I haven't done Spyro two yet, so I should probably do a Spyro two race with someone next round. Would probably be a good idea. Uh, am I supposed to do the uh, the the funny bingo meme again in this video? I don't What's remember the... what video I did it before, but like... Uh, What's the funny bim bingo mean? Uh, 51, I love my mum, number 51. I don't remember you doing uh, that. I don't, know, I don't know what video you did that in. Brighton line, number 59. <laughs> um, I, oh, I think it was in the uh, the, the other tournament. Oh, maybe. really? Oh, okay. Well, that was a lot of races there. That could have been in literally any race. Um, it, it was one that was live streamed, so... Uh, Probably one that I left the video halfway through after getting bored, like I usually do. Yeah, 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 probably. <laughs> Cock and head number, number 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, funny because Okay. So, uh, which uh, row are you doing, Lobster? We should probably reveal this now. Yeah, I'm doing you don't have one. to. Sorry? I'm doing the one that has haunted towers. Uh, Haunted Towers and High Caves, you mean that one? Yep. Uh, what, and you mean like Row 3? Row 3. Yeah, well, guess what, I'm doing Row 3 as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it was the, it was the obvious choice. There was, there's another one which is kind of interesting, but I just feel like it probably would have taken a bit longer, which is, uh, Column 3. It has, like, a lot of Dreamweavers and Beastmakers stuff, basically. It's like get 250 gems in every Beastmakers and Dreamweavers level and then get all gem, all dragons and Beastmakers and 10 dragons and Dreamweavers and, def and defeat Nasty North. That one would have been all right as well, but, I mean, this one just seemed like the, the most obvious choice. 
it's probably it was a lot it's probably a lot more boring though to be honest this one than the other one yeah but this this one it's basically like we're playing not all we don't get 10 dragons but we have to get 1200 gems before we go to any world after peacekeepers so we're kind of playing like the start of this will be kind of look pretty familiar to most people who um but then the other one, you could just go straight to you go go straight to Beastmakers and just start doing stuff. While with this one, we have to fuck around probably in some in some Peacekeepers levels to get gems. So I don't know if this was actually faster or not, but too late now. Uh, I, I, I was I was gonna like sarcastically look, yawn then, but I, don't know, I thought I'd just explain the joke instead. <laughs> well, you know, there's a Spyro tournament. I'm going on on about. Spire bingo race choices. All right, uh, done that. Let's get out of this world. So, are you in Peacekeepers yet? Yep. Okay. So, I have a feeling that Lops is going to win, uh, just mainly because of my scrub right at the start. But he'll probably play play better too. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to win, Andrew, from you um, rigging every aspect of this but from the choice of the game to you making the bingo board <laughs> i'm pretty sure you got a uh, an undeserved victory under the sleeve here where am i gonna get 1200 gems that is the question yes. oh i i yeah oh i do wonder how i'm gonna get those gems <laughs> if only suck i didn't even write the bingo board Wacky. All right. I mean, Lobster and I are probably doing the exact same thing. I can imagine. Oh uh, uh, well. Are, we, are you both doing the uh, second column then? We're both doing the third row. Oh, the third. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I would have taken a little bit more time to make sure this was balanced, but I kind of wanted to just get it over and done with. To be honest, like we're on. Like it's like Sunday, so the deadline is technically tomorrow, except like. I think we're the only actual race that's going to happen, but like I have to like set a standard here. You know, I can't just be, oh, I'm collecting dragons again. For fuck's sake, how many have I collected now? Like, you only really want those checkpoints. I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess so. at some point anyway. <sighs> Someone needs to like slap me in the face and and, and tell me what I was supposed to do. All right, but if I do lose this race, then um, it means that. Um, going to be very difficult for me to get back in uh so kind of high stakes but at the same time i've lost a lobster I, I i've lost a lobster so it's not like it's not like i'm, I'm losing to someone like really easy or anything um what am i doing i should be up me or... yeah exactly Fraser films was he in this tournament i don't even remember yeah yeah Fraser's in the tournament he got he got into round two actually because uh, a couple people mm. dropped out he also won a race though and he, won, oh, he, he got into got into round two by default uh i guess so but he didn't win a race though so i guess like yeah by the, that's peak the default, that is. being there like he won against g4 which is i guess a, a, a decent feat but yeah um cherokee guy and g4 both dropped out so yeah that was an interesting group and where am i going now i should probably go to dr shemp Um, and I'll do this first, I guess. Not oh, fuck off. I, I did like your uh, analysis of the um, Spyro Two opening cutscene. Well, why? What? Because Spyro of this... looks too cute. I think his character model looks too good. To be honest, it looks too. Good. <laughs> it made it more ugly, frankly. Um, everyone, everyone likes the Spyro model too much. I think it should have been shitter. Back. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, um, I'm racing lobster currently. Made and I think I, I over collected gems. Looks like as well. Oh dear. Um, I can you, Andrew? Can you perhaps say something nice about the Reignited trilogy? Just one thing. Um. Let me think. Come on, you can do it. See um, spiral back in the style you love. It's... No, that's not really a positive. That's like kind of un, like a like a ne like necessity anyway. So. <laughs> Um, hmm. It has levels and characters. Uh, I don't know. Like, um, 
Uh, high caves looks pretty good, I guess. There you go, that's one thing. I still, I, I still can't believe, like, a genuine the levels criticism look, from the you levels. is that Spyro looks too cute. A lot of levels look really good, actually. It's just they've, they've kind of screwed up on the characters. Really. That's I, think the, I, I, I think the, like, the, the Norks and shit like that, they look, like, just shite. Yeah, yeah. But the, the actual, like, main characters and the animations with them, the animations in particular, like, are, like, really, really good. Well, I mean, Sheila is like a shit, shitty character. Oh yeah, that's shit. Everyone, everybody, I mean, that's a given. Everyone fix that shit. But like, um, if it's not broken, don't fix it. The 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 ones that matter, like um, whatever goat ladies called, I forgot her name. Uh, Laura. Laura. Uh, Laura. Like, uh, I think I think <laughs> yeah, I think um, Andrew said this really well. Like, um, her original design looked like like some like forty something like. Laura from HR, sort of. But the new design actually looks like like so much better. And it does. Yeah, I, 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 I don't does. really have a problem with her design at all. Like, if you notice in that video, I didn't slam it or anything. Like, I think I think she looks different. I don't think she looks... I, I think she looks a lot better. If, they, I don't, if, they, I really don't if they're problem. actually respectful to the source, it would look garbage. Yeah, no, I, I, I think that, yeah, I don't think it, like... Yeah, I mean, that's... That, I mean, that's a, it's a... It's a yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right, and I, I don't agree. Where it matters, the characters look really good, and like the side characters don't matter too much. A lot of them kind of look a bit shit, but like right. Spyro's right. model and Hunter's model and Laura's model and 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 Ripto's model, I think look really good. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about Ripto, but we haven't really had a good look at Ripto yet. So. But then, like the the levels themselves look look really good. And, like it's as I and said, the, the... as I said, I really like to look at Cloud Spires and Sony Villa. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, Cloud Spires is um, like Cyrene's. Like he says that there's too much like stone, and I agree with him that like they did change it from the original in like kind of a worse way. Um, they, they made it kind of like more like realistic looking. I mean, like I given the scope, sorry, given the scope of the project, like Crash Bandicoot, that that trilogy was so easy to do because the original Crash, the f first three Crash Bandicoot games, they all had, you know, they had like three, four unique levels that were, they would recycle throughout the whole entire yeah. game, yeah. and there's yeah. there's not honestly there's not a whole lot different between one, two, and three. Yeah. No, okay. Just, just because they have a tougher job doesn't mean that like we have to have lower expectations, though. I, I think it's it's reasonable to acknowledge the fact that the scope is significantly greater, and it's reasonable to acknowledge that this is, you know, these are still three very big games yeah. where uh, sold at a budget price, and for with that in context, the animations look really, really good. The the level design is brilliant and they're doing everything right I think at this point I'm a bit concerned about um, the, it's kind of hard to explain but the, I think it will fill off in the same way that Crash Bandicoot does it won't control very well no yeah I, I was looking at that Sony with the skateboarding and the jumping yeah it just it, it that, yeah, looks a bit uh, of okay, moving on it's just it's it's everything like the controls. It just doesn't look right, but you know that's to be seen. Yeah, well, I mean, I think like if I am to complain about things, it's more it's less for the Reignited trilogy, and it's more for like I just don't think Toys for Bob are really. Um, I don't think they they will they've impressed me enough to like be happy about them making a new game. Like I don't think that they really really like they're the only choice. Like it's it's the obvious choice. It's the only choice. But I I I'm very skeptical about them making a game because I I just don't think that they understand like what Spyro is. Um, and at the same time though, like I don't think they necessarily need to. It's like it's, everyone's got a different interpretation, and like at the end of the day, like. You know they'll be making the, these games to appeal to, to children. Like it doesn't fucking matter. If I, I don't know, like, like even like even like 
I wouldn't even say that Insomnia or Insomniac rather would be the best people to make it. No, I would no, no, no. The, the team has grown so so much since, and that the exactly. last like couple no, of projects I, I, I've they never made been, weren't I've even. I've never been the person who stresses that Insomniac should make Spyro games. Like I've never said that. Like I think it's perfect. I'd, can... I'd like them. To, I'd like Insomnia to do the games, but it's not a must that they have to do it. I don't even necessarily think they should because I think that like the kind of company they are is just really different to what it was. Like I think. That yeah, I, I don't think I think that the. the the last couple of projects that Insomniac have done have not been... They, they've all been completely different games. So yeah. the, the 200, 300 people that work at Insomniac now are not people that have experience on that sort of game. So it's, yeah. Yeah, and, it, and it's a completely there's different a company. If Insomniac made a game, they would be even more like, like distant as in like knowing what Spyro is than Toys for Bob because I, I think that like yeah they're completely different people and um they, they probably have it like like probably like Insomniac probably have a little bit of an ego too like I think like a smaller company might like be like oh I guess we should make this pretty you know loyal because you know uh you know we're not you know we're not we're trying to get like you know good reputation we're not going to put our own spin on it because like we we fear that you know that people are going to hate like and so I, mean, I feel like we'll have that confidence where they would be able, would want to just even give a shit about changing things. That'd be just like, we're in Somniac, we'll make this, you know, how we want to make it. You know, we're the original owners of Spyro, blah, 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 blah. But while a small developer might be a little bit more, like might feel like they, you know, need to be more loyal or, you know, go back to the original games and find out exactly what's so good about them. Like, like I, yeah. I, I, I don't quite agree with that because you've got like... Um you'll still have people at, the, at Insomniac and right, the, the vast majority of people that work in the game industry work in the game industry and they don't care about like uh, it's a career they don't really care about what studio they work for but you'll have people that actually like oh I played Spyro as a kid and it's what blah 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 and all that sort of nonsense and being able to work on a, pro on a Spyro project for Insomniac would be important to them but like well i mean it's important in the same way that, that it's important to toys for bob like it's important that, like a lot of them probably played spyro as a kid too it's just yeah it's just that it's, toys it's for worth bob, remembering that, that toys for bob the have this the weird that arrogance to them they have this weird confidence to themselves that like that everything they do is like is good for spyro and um oh i just fucked up before i mean um like they have this like and i feel like insomniac would have that weird confidence too like like toys for bob really um like they they're trying to they're trying to change things to make it look like like but I, like i don't think they just don't have, they don't really have that attention to detail they, they're not they're not looking at it and going like oh like you know what exactly made these games work what, what do people love about them like th what are the fans about them? i think that's like, a bit impossible um i don't think it's impossible like i i think that it's difficult i don't think it's impossible um it's, i i'd like what what's disappointed me is that the concept art looks really 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 good and that hasn't translated in a lot of part lot of parts of it um yeah because i think maybe there's a chance that the people who draw the concept art know more about what they should actually really oh, no, no, it's because the people that drew the concept art are people that work at toys of bob and the people that are actually implementing it are like some outsourced indian or chinese right, studio, right, right. which well, is how yeah. projects like these are done so it, i don't think there's an issue with toys for bob i think they've got their heads on straight but the fact is is that it's a um a low budget project that's being delivered on an incredibly tight time scale and um yeah with the vast majority of the actual product being outsourced i think stuff like the animations and stuff like that would be done in-house and i think it really shows but like i don't know like nork character free that just looks completely out of place that's because someone in Korea <laughs> made it. Didn't like it, or someone in, you know, Chinese or Indian studio made it, and that's just one of like twenty other projects they're doing, and they don't care. Like, right? Not right yeah, yeah. Way, but but I, like, I think, understandably I think that, so. I, I don't see any reason why that wouldn't happen as well. If like, if Toys for Bob were developing a new game as well, I feel like they're going to end up doing the same kind of things. Oh, yeah. it happens. In, like, it would happen if Insomniac were developing it. Would it happen if like? It's, it's yeah, not yeah. a big enough release to get a dedicated yeah, yeah. American team on it, which is a shame. And yeah, well, maybe, it was what ruins a lot of games. But it's, maybe it's a problem with like with like HD games, like. These days, you know, they're no, all, it's just an industry-wide so problem. 
they have to have so much time spent on it, on like literally everything that like you can't just have a creative vision and express that as one company you have to outsource everything but um, at the end of the day it's going to be a fun game and i'm looking forward to it yeah i i, I think that like it's not like nothing's going to really make me want to buy it but like well you can't buy it yet anyway yeah fox and grapes mate yeah nothing's gonna like i don't want to buy it but at the, like if if people are talking about like toys and bob making a new game i just don't i i don't have the hopes for it and i want to tell people why exactly i don't have the hopes for it i i from what i've seen i'd i would actually i i i i have confidence if they made a new spyro game just because the the changes they've made with some exceptions like sheila looks fucking garbage i, I don't that's that's not, awful if, it, if it's not broken don't fix it yeah, but like the, the like the main Spyro model and the, the dragons themselves and the general set pieces and the and the, the worlds that they built and the, the concept art especially like they, they get it and they they're, they're uh, doing like I, a, I don't think they really there's, get it. Like, there's there's some exception that there, there's some it's like it's rough around the corners and there's like this character and this character looks like shit and this is like not that very good and the, the first version of this soundtrack wasn't very good, but. 80 90 percent of it is on the mark and i would be it, it's clear that they, they i think they get it i think they get it but have an incredible like time pressure yeah. that's stopping them from really applying that yeah but i i think it's going to be the same thing if they make a new game like i don't i don't think like i don't think they're going to suddenly put like a whole lot more effort into it if they if they make it a new game um I don't. Uh, that's a dangerous word. That is. What's a dangerous word? Uh, it's saying they're not. They're not. Put, I'm sure they're putting in their shit to never. So. No, I'm just no. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Whole, effort is not the right word. Money. I mean, I, well, okay. If effort means if effort means trying to find out what the fans want and doing what the fans want, then you know may, maybe yeah maybe they don't have the time for that, right? I'm not saying that they're not putting a whole lot of work into it. I'm not saying that they're not like every single fucking waking hour they're working on i'm not saying that i'm just saying that they they haven't put enough time into finding out what exactly makes these games great like they're they're i think they're, they're more well and yeah maybe maybe uh, uh activision hasn't given them enough time i don't know but i doubt it's gonna be they're gonna get suddenly a whole lot of more time when they make a new game well, no but that's just a fact of the industry the original spyro games didn't have a whole lot of time no but uh, but I mean no. yeah, but like yeah, but you're the one saying that like they're they're putting a lot of effort into it. Um, Time just doesn't exist in the industry. So <laughs> yeah, so, I know, but, they, but they had enough time to make Spyro two and three in a year. But I, as I've said, as I've said, like it's a different age now. Like you know, it's the it's a, it's the age of like HD graphics and shit. You know, it's harder. You know, I just don't want a new Spyro game. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not what I'm, I'm saying. Well, it's. That's not what I'm, I'm not like Cyrides and other people say that they say they say they want the franchise to die. I don't actually agree with that at all. I still want Skylanders. I don't think it should die. I just don't, I just want Skylanders like uh, act like a spiral when it's just a marketing scam, really. Yeah, well, I mean, these are the people who made Skylanders. Like, these are the people that kept Spyro hostage. So well, these, these yeah, are well, the people that made. Uh, and they're like, we the love Spyro right? when we were younger. Well, why are you making fucking Skylanders then? Uh, yeah, well, uh, wait, what would you say, Connor? Oh, we played Spyro when we were younger. We know what to expect. So why the fuck are you making Skylanders then? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, um, I don't, like, I, I, I don't think that, like, yeah, like, Activision doesn't have your wishes at heart. They has, they, they have getting money in, at heart, and, yeah. like, what do you, like, I'm not, like, surprised about that or anything, but it's, like, it's, you know, what for how much, you know, effort they put into pleasing people is, is like, is, is you know, what, what what we, what the way we give them back is by buying, buying a game, and I don't think that, like, it's worth buying from what I've seen, and I just fucked up. It's worth giving, like, maybe borrowing and then maybe deciding then you want to buy it. But yeah, like, may, uh, maybe. If I mean, I the PS, if I had the PS4, I... But this is game. this is strictly just for like new games though. Like I I have no interest in in HD remakes at all. The game in the in the original style instead of a HD remake. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, 
And like I think I think you know that that game should be based on its merits. Like you know, is it good? Is yeah. it bad? And definitely given, I would definitely give it a, a thousand more chances than a HD remake. But I, at the moment, like I'm just saying, I don't think Toys for Bob is the right fit, even if they are 100 percent the only developer that can possibly do it. I I don't know about you, Andrew, but I can't wait till the 13th of November to tuck into my Reignited trilogy. It's actually oh, yeah. oh, was it 30th or 13th because it's 13th. 30th. Okay, just making sure that you know. Um, I've got yeah, a pre order on Xbox, I've got a pre order on PS4. I don't know why you played as well. the game again, like you've played it a billion times. And, and, and no doubt, Ratchet Fire will be in your house, Christian, ready to play us. I'd be like, this is terrible. It's, it's like, like no, it's, I, I, it's I, I, literally going to be a dumbed down version I of the original. Fucking game. beg your pudding. Like, it's going to be the same game we've played a billion times already. I haven't played Spyro a billion times. I think that's quite obvious. Well, you could, but you just don't, so. Yeah. But like yeah, I don't. Uh, it's it's a typical gamer thing. It's like when it's new, like when it's when it's just come out, it's so much more important than like, oh like than stuff that's made twenty years ago. Even if it's way better, even if like you haven't played that stuff made twenty years ago, it's like always buy the new thing. It's like you know if, even if you play never never played Donkey Kong Country Donkey Kong Country before, buy the new Donkey Kong Country game, even if the old games are like meant to be like a hundred times better. It's the typical gamer thing, and it's just the way that like marketing works. And I'm not gonna like. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. Um, it, it really just comes down to my own, like, like my own feelings. Like, I'm not saying that nobody else should buy this, like, any of this stuff at all. And I can co completely understand why people would buy it. But, like, I, I personally just don't really understand, like, the whole hype and everything. Like, it just doesn't appeal to me in the slightest. Like, people just, you know, rehashing something with their own, like, like, style or something. Like, make your, make your own thing. It's like, like, it just makes much more sense trying to copy something with like HD graphics unless you're doing just a one to one like remake with HD graphics which I wouldn't care about either but I guess that I, that makes a little bit more sense uh, Stuart Copeland wants to give you a key to yeah and yeah Stuart Copeland's only doing the one thing he's only making the and uh, and, and, and to go completely off, completely off topic my parents have just come home from seeing the Pope today oh what did they say what are they saying um, about about oh, this? Oh, they, they enjoy this. I haven't like gone full on with them yet. Full on, full on conversation about it. Tell us all about it, sort of thing. Guys, were saying about uh, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I was just saying that like the only thing he's doing is making the like the the main track, and that's the only thing he's doing. So it's not like he's really returned or anything. You know how you can like switch between the original music and the new music? Why yeah. can you just have the new? The original music in there in the first place instead of wasting paying a composer to just reimagine Sher Copeland's work. Uh because it's meant to be a HD remake, so they're meant to be making everything, you know, better and updated and all that kind of stuff. So like what are you paying for if you're just gonna get the original music? Like are you just paying for visuals? Yeah, but I don't think the, some of the new tracks are better than the... Well, that's what the, their job is to make them better, though. That's their job. Their job is to remaster them when they're not yeah. doing a good job, obviously. Yeah, they're not doing a good job. Like, I'm, like Dark Hollow was a good enough track, so they like, good. It's like, if their graphics are shit and their skyboxes are shit, it's like, can I have a button which just changes back to the old graphics and skyboxes? I mean, My you might... skyboxes. Aww. Could you imagine if you could do that? All right. I don't know where you are, Lobster, and I kind of don't want to know because <laughs> I think you're ahead of me. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not doing this like very skillfully, to be honest. Like, I'm kind of. I'm. I'm. I'm going all right, but I'm like. I'm not like doing this anywhere near perfect. Yeah, neither am I. I think. He thinks he could be doing it perfect. He's not sure. That's. I mean, that's. That's. Uh. That's not. That's not keeping. That's not. <laughs> Um, yeah, a little bit worried. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, let me see if I can try to do the, the trick here. I don't think I can. But... <coughs> oh, 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 I did it! Shit, nice. Okay. So by the sounds of it, you are ahead of me. If I, if you are where I think you are. Oh, really? Fuck. If I'm ahead of you, then my day has been made. But yeah, we'll, like, yeah. Reignited, huh? I, I actually, I want to do a video with, um... I mean, I know Canadian guy turned me down, but I want to video, do a video with Jordan Fringe. The only problem is I think Jordan Fringe will just be kind of too, like, he'll be too kind of civil. I want, like, a full-on 
fucking debate. And I think like Canadian guy A is the kind of guy who would like, who would just get like really like snipey and stuff. Cause that's what he's like on his videos. He's always like, yeah, these purists who want to keep everything the same. <laughs> While Jordan Fringe is just like, um, yeah, I really like what's going on here. And then, uh, <laughs> Actually, no, I don't, no, I'm actually not where you think I am, uh, Lobster. I, I know where you think I am. I'm not there, actually. So I'll, I'll let you know that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you probably thought I was in North Cove. I'm not in North Cove. Oh, okay, that, that, that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, so now I think I'm behind. Oh, dear. Alright, so I oh, just need to avoid the flying boxes at this point. There's oh, a bit fuck. of a hint where I am. Yeah, I know where you are. Uh, now I just gotta get these little guys. Oh, this is actually really close. This is actually really, really close. Okay. Is it as tight as your race with Fraser? Um... What? What kind of like a uh, funny, funny, funny? I was like, you confused me there for a second. I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, where are Fraser are you talking about? Is there another Fraser in these sonnets? Okay. All right. I have no like. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Like, who's gonna be ahead or what? That was so funny. <laughs> you know how I was in Magic Crafters? I wasn't in Magic Crafters. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, um, unless I made a huge mistake, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I don't know about that skip in North Cove, I, I don't know if I can actually do that. I haven't done it in so many years, so I probably can't do it. I'll give it a, I'll give it a go, one try. Yeah, that's a no. Watching me, I have no brown Oh, fuck. What can I say, Lobster? I think I think we are seriously neck and neck. Yeah, Ooh. I don't have sparks, so I mean. Here. A bit screwed. Let's make things. Um, wait, what? Oh, okay. Fuck. I was like scared for a second there. Alright, come on. I, I have to get this now. Oh. I'm, are you using NTSC and EPSXE? Yep. Alright, so no draw times. It all comes down to like if we can fucking do this. <laughs> Oh no, this is oh this is so close. This is this is a Ratchet 5 worthy uh like speedrun definitely. Like this is definitely going on my channel. Speedrun in Spiral 3. I thought that was worthy. <laughs> ah fuck. I yeah, so I, I think I think I, um I thought our first uh, one was worthy. What what's worthy? Was worthy. What what? I thought our first speedrun in this tournament was worthy of a Ratchet uh, upload. Well, I mean, my game was fucking, like, lagging and shit, so... You were oh, behind fuck. the whole run and made a great comeback. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Alright. story. <laughs> oh, god, I don't- I- this is... I assume that you're just literally where I am currently. Um... Just in case. Now watch me lose by five seconds because I took that dragon. Yep, that was a waste of time.
All right, I, I can't fuck up here. This is this is literally it. My tournament future hangs in the balance. Yep, you eye on me. Great. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, so Lopsa, I didn't do Jar because I did Blowhard. I think that's what it came down to. So what what post didn't you have sent? That's the question. Um didn't I? Uh I did I did Toasty, um Blowhard and Dr. Shem. Yeah, I did the same. Yeah, but you did Jarks as well. I just finished by the way. Oh, ah, I realized the trick there. Ah, what? Defeat four bosses. Nasty Nork is a boss. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm a oh fucking dear. idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I have been in Lofsa in a very close race. Um, yeah, oh, fuck. now I'm done. <laughs> I am so sorry, Lopsa. I am so sorry. But that is a sweet victory, I'll say that. Yeah. Um, so that was Spyro 1 Bingo. It wasn't really much of a bingo because we picked the same uh, uh, row. But um, yeah, so the other one was um, 250 gems in every Dreamweaver's level and Beast Magnet. Yeah, yeah, that one. But I feel like that one probably would have been slower. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, no. This was the, this really was the fastest. Yeah. It's 11 p.m. I played that. That's why I did jocks. I wasn't thinking straight. This one would be really interesting to watch because, like, at the start, I um, somehow screwed up on the rocks and I didn't get into Sunny Flight. So I was sitting there for like 45 seconds wondering what I should do <laughs> until I decided to just like go and enter Stone Hill to go into the end vortex and everything. What a goofus. Yes, thank you for watching, everybody. Um, and I will see... Oh, this, sorry, this is quarterfinal, semifinal. I'll see you in the semifinal. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, well, I have beaten Lofsa in a very close race. Um, I think a new game as well. I feel like they're going to end up doing the same kind of things. No, it happens in, like, it would happen if Insomniac were developing it. It would happen if, like... Oh, retard alert! Retard alert!